If you have been reading any of my emails, social media posts, texts, WhatsApps, robocalls, smoke signals, or telegrams over the past two days, if not, welcome back to civilization. You would know that we just completed our annual online fundraiser, raising vital resources for our work on campus. With money on my mind more now than at any other point in the year, I wondered whether our weekly tour portion could lend any insights into our attitude towards this ubiquitous feature of human existence. Of course it did. Yaakov is lying on his deathbed, judiciously blessing each of his sons, those who will constitute the 12 tribes of Jewish peoplehood. When he reaches Zivulun, he declares, Zivulun will dwell on the coast of the seas. He will be at the harbor of the ships and his boundary will be at Sidon. On the other hand, for the next brother, Issachar, he offers, Issachar is a bony donkey lying between the boundaries. Rashi, based on the Midrash, connects this set of blessings to later statements from Moshe at the end of the Torah. To Zavulun, he said, Rejoice, Zavulun, in your excursions and Yisachar in your tents. Meaning, Zavulun, occupying the ports, will engage in mercantile trade and support the Torah studies of Yisachar, who will dwell in their tents, i.e. the tents of Torah, and who will bear the burdensome yoke of intensive intellectual engrossment. The sages explain that because of their patrimony, members of Zavulun share equally in the just rewards that accrue to Yisachar for their spiritual development, even though Zavulun does not actually participate, at least not extensively, in those activities. However, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky wonders how this is possible. Torah is deep and all-encompassing, and we know that one's reward for its study is commensurate with the sweat and toil involved. For example, the verse in the book of Vayikra, if you will go in my ways, is interpreted to mean if you toil in Torah. While Zavulin can justly be rewarded for sponsoring their brothers, if they don't expend the grueling effort, how can they actually warrant equal compensation? Drawing on the well-known Talmudic teaching that every child absorbs the entirety of Torah wisdom while in its mother's womb, Rabbi Kamenetsky posits that really, Torah is innate to every person. Our job throughout life is to restore our awareness of this knowledge through rigorous learning and review. But, he suggests, a different form of toiling can likewise generate this reestablished connection to the hidden Torah of our fetal past, working in a trade in order to support those studying Torah. This perspective, explains the great Orachai Makadosh, illuminates Moshe's later statement, Rejoice, Zavulun, in your excursions. Normally, when a person sets out to conduct business, they are filled with anxiety and trepidation. Who knows whether the venture will succeed? but one who enters their trade with an eye towards channeling the proceeds towards a higher calling can relax and feel assured of imminent success as God will certainly reward their endeavors. And I might add as my own wrinkle, the very intention to utilize these profits for a meaningful cause itself generates joy from the outset, irrespective of the later outcome. When we go to work with a purpose, we find pleasure in the process. According to another medieval scholar, Seforno, Zavulun and Yisachar's common reward derives from the notion that ours is a shared national mission, meaning each tribe must play its role, and in that schema, Zavulun's commerce is no less vital than Yisachar's diligence. Over the course of this year's fundraising campaign, we appreciated how hundreds of friends, students, alumni, parents, and community members, modern-day Zavuluns, channeled their own hard-earned resources towards the Yisachar work that means so much to us and our students. My team and I spend thousands of hours over the course of every year strategizing, sweating, pushing, succeeding, failing, and everything in between to enable Torah learning and living among our precious charges. When our circle of connections joins us over these days and swaddles us with support, emotional and tangible, we feel invigorated and in turn, our patrons enjoy equal reward in our efforts as we toil in tandem towards actualizing our shared national mission. Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom.